Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Aptitude Made Easy to Learn. I hope everyone doing good. In the previous video, we discussed about clocks. Like what are the different types of problems we can expect on clocks, how to solve them, even we derived formulas to solve those type of problems also, right? And in this video, we are going to solve those type of problems as an example. And if anyone not yet watched that video, I'll give that link in the description as well as the iCard. So please watch that one. Why? Because that itself we discussed a lot of things about clocks. And we derived even formulas also. We discussed how to solve those type of problems, what are the different types of problems we can expect. Everything is discussed in the first part of our clocks. So if anyone not yet watched that, so please watch that one and then come back to this video. And if anyone watching our channel for the first time, so please do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get video updates regularly. And whoever already subscribed, so please give a thumbs up to our videos and share it to your friends, to whomsoever it will be useful. Then why so late? Let's get into the video. <coughs> yes, here is the first problem. Find the angle between hands of the clock. So as we already discussed, we'll be speaking about only minutes and an hours and we'll not be bothering about seconds and. And what is the time given? It is 10.35, sorry, it is 10.25, right? And what is the formula we derived there? We derived a formula to find out angle between hands of a clock, that is 30H minus 11 by 2M. And here we'll not be taking the minus symbol directly, we'll be taking like a different symbol. Why? Because as we already discussed, we don't know whenever we'll get minutes higher or as hours higher. In this case, our hand is higher. Why? Because 10. So angle covered by hours and is more than angle covered by minutes and we'll be taking in this order. And we'll be solving another type of problems where we'll be taking minutes first and hours last. So anyway, let's see this. So we need to find out angle between hands where H represents hours and M represents minutes. So in this clock given here, what is the hours here? It is 10 hours, right? So 10 hours means H value will be 10. And what about minutes? How many minutes is it? So as the clock shows 5, so don't take it as a 5. Why? Because it is 25 minutes, right? I hope everyone knows how to read it. Fine. So it is 25 minutes. So now theta is, I'll substitute just here, 30 H, 30 into hours 10 minus, I'm taking minus directly here now. Why? Because I know hours is more here that is 10 is more than like 25 minutes angle covered by hours and will be more than minutes and minus 11 by 2 m what is minutes now 25 minutes so by solving this i'll get an angle let's see this 30 into 10 will be 300 minus 11 25 will be 275 divided by 2 so which I'll be getting 600 minus 275 by 2. That's nothing but 325 by 2. 162.5. So which is nothing but angle between hours and minutes and is nothing but 162.5 degrees. So either we can use the formula or as, uh, as we already discussed, we can solve manually also. And here I'm not going to solve manually. Why? Because it is a very lengthy process. And anyway, in any exams, we'll not be using manual process. So this is very simple. Why? Because R's covered more. I just will substitute in a formula according to it. Let's see another example here, which is of a similar type. See this find angle between hands of clock. So observe this. Of course, question seems to be same, but the time has changed. If you observe the clocks in the previous one, the time is 10:25, and now here it is 4:40. Right now, I need to find out the angle between hands of a clock. So observe here. This is the reference line, as you know. Is our hand covering more angle or else minutes hand covering more angle? So this one is higher or else this one is higher. Obviously, minutes hand is covering more angle, right? So in that case, our formula will be modified. 
and as I already said while solving problems you will get an idea why I am taking different symbol instead of minus symbol here this is the reason in this case you can observe here minutes and covering more angle so obviously this value will be higher than this if I take 30 h minus we will be getting negative value right so that's the reason I will not take minus and in this case our formula will be modified as 11 by 2 m minus 30 h so minutes and is higher so m minus h i need to consider and every process is same h we need to substitute hours m we need to substitute minutes so number of hours 4 of course it is lying between 4 and 5 obviously hours covered is 4 only so i'll take hours 4 and minutes 40 just let's substitute here 11 by 2 into minutes 40 minus 30 into hours 4 220s will be 40 1120s will be 220 minus 34s will be 120 so which is nothing but 100 so simple right here angle between hours stand and minutes stand is now 100 degrees very simple one just we need to be very careful here whether minutes is higher or else hours is higher according to that we should modify the formula now i hope everyone got an idea like how to use a formula why i have taken different symbol instead of minus symbol here so these are one category of problems on angles another category see here that is a problem between 6 and 7 that is between 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock when can we get 0 degrees so 0 degrees means both means minutes hand and hour hand should lie on the same line so hour hand will be obviously here between 6 and 7 means it will be like this and minutes hand should be here so manually we cannot tell exact number here like the time will be maybe 33 or as 34 or 32 we cannot tell it directly then how to say this angle zero means just go in a reverse process what we know here generally theta formula will be 30h minus 11 by 2m what is difference 11 by 2m in all other cases we are finding angle using hours and minutes here already i know hours will be 6 why because time is between 6 and 7 hours will be 6 then obviously i need to find out minutes exact minutes here i need to find out which means i can see theta is 0 degrees here and hours will be 6 and minutes i need to find out if i find out number of minutes here i can see when i'll get 0 degrees so just substitute here 0 degrees equals to 30 into 6 difference of 11 by 2 m so here it is 0 i'll take 30 into 6 other side i'll get then 30 into 6 equals to 11 by 2 m 36 180 182s will be 360 equals to 11 m so where minutes equals to 360 divided by 11 so 360 divided by 11 i can write in mixed proportion as 32 8 by 11 why because 11 32 will be 352 plus 8 360 exactly so which means we will get 0 degrees between 6 and 7 at 6 hours 32 8 by 11 minutes so at this exact time we will be getting 0 degrees between 6 and 7 the same formula formalization is very same in every type of problem but the way of thinking is very different so as they are asking between what time i need to find out minutes where zero degrees is given not only zero degrees sometimes they will give it is 180 degrees it is 90 degrees it is 60 degrees so everything is same here just we need to modify this formula according to the given question 
I hope you find this video is very useful and you are very clear with this problem. And before ending the video, there is a very similar problem and a very simple problem here. Just watch this. What is the flex angle between hands of a clock at 3 o'clock? The time given is 3 o'clock. And now they are asking, what is reflex angle between hands of clock? So what is reflex angle? Till now we spoke about just angles, right? So it's very simple. Reflex angle is nothing but other angle. Like for example, consider here, when it is 3 o'clock, what is angle between hands of a clock? Okay, no need to go with a formula. Why? Because just by observing picture, it is 3 o'clock means it is 90 degrees, right? Exactly. Hands are perpendicular to each other. So which is nothing but 90 degrees. So this is angle between hands of a clock. And reflex angle is nothing but other angle that is outside angle. So what is outside angle? How can I find out? So use the circle base rule. We know angle in circle is nothing but total angle will be 360 degrees, right? Out of 360 here already I got 90 degrees. Then what is other angle? Simply 360 minus 90, which is 270. So we'll be calling this angle as a reflex angle. And not only in this one, even in geometry also we'll be getting a lot of problems on reflex angle. Just outside angle we need to find out, which is also known as reflex angle. And how to find out that is 360 minus theta. So very rarely we can expect this simple type of problems, but just better to know uh, how to find out this, what is the reflex angle, get an idea of this one. And yes guys, so uh, this is up to this video and a very short video based on the simple problems of a clock. And in the coming video, we'll be discussing about a gain or loss of time in clocks. What is a gain? What is a loss? We need to solve those type of problems and we'll be discussing the concept as well as and some problems as well as on those type of concepts. Till then, keep smiling. And if you have any sort of doubts, if you have any sort of queries, you can drop it in the comment section or else you can ping me in this Instagram or else you can send a mail. So uh, all the mail and all this content will be provided in our website also, which I'll be providing in the description. You can use that website or else you can use Instagram uh, to contact with me if you have any sort of doubts. And yes, uh, finally, if you like this video, just give a big thumbs up and share it with your friends to whomsoever it is useful. And uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Take care.